Hi everyone, so we're into solving quadratics through factorising, so if you're having a bit of trouble factorising um, then you just need to go to the factorising video which was in uh, exercise 5 I think, so exercise 5b, uh, okay, that would have helped and <clears throat> Now we're just going to kind of finish this off, all right? So let's just make it clear. When we say y equals x squared plus 5x plus 4, right, this doesn't equal 0 yet, does it? So this idea of solving quadratics, what does it mean? What is it asking for? Solving means, in this context, when you make it equal 0, you're saying, when does the graph y equals 0? When, when does y equal 0, i.e., when does it cross the x-axis? So if we put the graph in towards graph, you can see. So we have y equals x squared plus 5x plus 4. So y equals x squared plus 5x plus 4. So you can see here that it crosses at two points, doesn't it? It crosses here and here. So it looks like x is minus 1, and it looks like x is minus 4. Okay. So I'm expecting, when I solve this, and I make it equal 0, because that's the next step. I just want us to remember that quadratics aren't always equal 0. You know, someone, some people really just like fixate on that idea. They just instantly write it equal 0, and, and it doesn't. It can equal all kinds of things, and this equal 0 is just one situation. And when you make things equal to 0, that's when you can use... A variety of methods to solve it. So you could factorize it, you could complete the square, or you could use the quadratic formula, whichever feels more appropriate at the time. So the first check you would do is to see if it can factorize. So it can factorize because uh, if we put this into two brackets, right, and remember those two brackets still, when they multiply together, do make zero. So keep that equal zero there. What numbers make to, what goes together to make x squared? Well, it's got to be x and x. What numbers go together that times to make 4 and add to make 5 to get that plus 5x, you see? So 4 and 1 times together to make 4, and when you add them, you make 5. So that's why I know it's got to be 4 and 1 rather than 2 and 2. It's got to be add because this is add here, right? And this is add here. So here we go. So if that equals 0, what we're saying is that either this bracket equals 0, because anything times 0, doesn't matter if this is a million, million times 0 is still 0, and we need it to be 0 because of this thing here. Or this bracket equals 0, and this and the left-hand side 1 can be anything we want it to be. Okay? So for this bracket to equal 0, x must be minus 1, or for this bracket to be 0, x must be minus 4. Okay? So x is minus 1, x is minus 4 will give you the result 0, y equals 0. And that's exactly what we found on that graph. So let's work on a little bit harder ones then. So remember this did start off with y equals but we want it equal zero because we're interested in when the graph crosses the x-axis that is when you make your quadratic equal to zero okay so we'll factorize and see if it does so if it doesn't factorize we'll use another method and when we mean factorize we mean so we can put it into two brackets easily okay if you watch the factorizing video you'll know that i'm looking for prime numbers and that three tells me that I can only have 3 and 1 in that right-hand side, right? The 6x squared, though, and remember we're trying to produce something so it gets minus 7x. So 6x squared can be separated into 6x and x, or it could be 3x and 2x, you see? What would make more sense? Again, don't worry if you're not getting it first time. The most important thing is to expand and check. I might not get this right first time. But we'll try it, okay? <clears throat> now, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll try it. So I need to have minus 7, yeah? Minus 7, I'm thinking if 6, 6x can be split into 3 and 2, well, 3 times 3 is 9, 
and if I can subtract 2, then I get 7, you see? So if I make this 3x and I make this 2x, I need the bigger number to multiply to make a minus. So 3 times 3x is the biggest number I can make, so I need that to be a minus. So I need the whole thing to come out as a minus, and therefore this one must be the plus, do you see? So if I multiply out to check, 2x times 3x squared is 6x, x, 6x squared. 2x times plus 1 is plus 2x. Minus 3 times uh, that is minus 9x, and minus 3 times 1 is minus 3. So it does work. I do get minus 7x in the middle. And that means, like we said before, what two things multiply together to make 0? Well, if this bracket is 0, then 2x take 3 must be 0. So therefore, if we rearrange, bring that 3 over, so add 3 to both sides, and then divide by 2, x must be 3 over 2. Or, this bracket equals 0, you see? So, 3x plus 1 must equal 0, and therefore bring the numbers over, take 1 from both sides, and divide by 3. So we're saying x is either 3 by 2, so x is 3 by 2, or x is minus third. Okay. <clears throat> now, this last bit, part C, this is not in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c is zero, which is what we all of our stuff works from, whether we're completing the square or using quadratic formula or factorizing. It needs to equal zero. So I'm going to get everything together so it equals zero. So first off, I'm going to put everything on the left, but 5x squared take away 10x squared, that's minus 5x squared, isn't it? Okay, equals minus 7 plus x plus x squared. Again, I'm going to just move everything over to the, well, it doesn't matter which side I put it over. I don't really like negative x squared, so it's better to move one thing over than move having to move three things over, you see? So if I add 5x squared on the left, and it means I add 5x squared on the right. And I can write this as, again, I don't like 0 on the left, I like it on the right, so I can just flip the whole thing over. So 5x squared plus x squared is 6x squared, uh, you've still got the plus x, and we've still got the minus 7 equals 0. So now we can factorise this, hopefully. What am I looking for? Well, 7 is prime, so it's got to be 7 and 1, remember? And now we've got this difficult, like, 6x squared, not going to panic. Don't know if it's 2x, don't know if it's 3x, or 6 and 1, don't know. So I'll take kind of an educated guess, I guess. So I reckon 6x times 1, well, 6 times 1 gives me 6. I need just x, and 7 times 1 is 7, so if I do 7 take 6, this could work. So how about we go for 6x here? and x here, this is a plus, so I need the bigger numbers, so 6 times 1, or 7 times 1, so the bigger number needs to be the plus, and therefore the smaller number needs to be the minus, I hope that makes sense, okay, uh, so we'll check it, definitely don't walk away from without checking it, so x times 6x, 6x squared, x times 7 plus 7x, Minus 1 times that, minus 6x, and minus 1 times that is minus 7. So 7x takes 6x, it is uh, x, so we're happy, so it does work. So like before, either this bracket is 0, so therefore x is 1, or this one is 0. So 6x plus 7 is 0, and therefore if you move the minus 7 over, you get 6x is minus 7, and then you'd need to divide it by 6. So there's one solution, and there's another solution. Okay, so box your answers, and finish off, just always group them together at the end. Okay, so then, it's a minus 706, so it's not written very well. But, that's the end of that video.